Freaking <laughs> Ryan doesn't even know how to do the proper intro. Look at this fucking guy. I'm <laughs> the first fucking real big I'm gonna fuck. Jesus <laughs> well, guys, it's been like four months since I've done a review for y'all, so figured I'd uh, spruce it up a bit. Right, we're doing it live from uh, Poison Lakes or Vape Shop and Lounge here in Philly, New York. Brought Twitch along for the fucking ride. Uh, first one back, actually. We got a we got a whole line to do here. Three juices in the line. Let's see if I can get these in my fingers all fancy like. Let's see here. There we are. Got that prohibition line. And get in there for you. That eighteenth amendment, the speakeasy, and the syntax. Everything's backwards on my camera, so it makes it weird when I'm trying to do anything. <laughs> so, what did we do? Party syntax. A little more on there. I'm going to throw a little bit more on in a second. Now this, this is a peanut butter custard, and this is made by Colin Tansley and Joey DeMarco out of, uh, they're actually, you know, they're out of, like, New York City, Jersey type area. Um, it's actually produced at a shop called uh, Vapeworks, which, uh, Grim, Grim actually is the, the shop manager there. Yes, sir. I think Doug Cambry owns a great shop, great people. We actually have some of their uh, sampler juices in here, see if we want to pick them up or not. I haven't personally messed with them too much yet. That's actually the second part of what I'm doing today. So, of course, Ryan's on his fucking cell phone like a goddamn asshole down a review. Oh, he's actually pulling up homework on it. So the syntax is peanut butter custard. It's uh, 7525. Uh, these are sent to us in a three milligram nick. Uh, I've had them since we opened the shop. Actually, the opening day, uh, Mike and Charlie brought them down to me. But I uh, brought them up because he came all the way from fucking Long Island. But uh, I haven't been able to put the peanut butter custard down. That shit's almost gone. I know I had to get the review done soon because who can review with an empty bottle? Of, uh, so we'll uh, start with the cloud test. Nice, deep, dense clouds. Not bad. Still got a little bit of that leprechaun lube on mine. We do a review for that shortly here. Oh, what do you think? That cloth's pretty good. Do you think it tastes true to what they say it is, peanut butter custard? Absolutely. I even get little hints of the vanilla custard in it. Yeah, it definitely it's tastes very subtle. Vanilla, the peanut butter, you get a little bit of maybe a little bit of a nutty flavor, almost like a an almond. The, the peanut butter is definitely the dominant flavor. You get a little hints of the vanilla here and, and there, but not a ton. It's smooth, and it's like it's not. Like, there's no throw head at all in it, which oh, is beautiful. Butter. I really, really enjoy that one. It's got a good aftertaste to it, too. A lot of them get, like, a really nasty aftertaste. This one's not too bad. Whew. Try and burn some of this residual off. Look at that. I'm going to vapor dry. <laughs> Too good to waste. Look at that, even coming right off it just now we're doing these in the backwards order of what we're actually should be doing them in. We're gonna go to the speakeasy now, which is uh root beer flow. This is the one I've been waiting for. The labels are nice. I mean it looks like a nice oak aged barrel. Got all the necessary uh, specifications on it. I really like they threw in the little American flag that says made in the USA. Let me see if I can get that up there for you. Yeah, there you go. It says zero, but it's actually three. Now this one I haven't made too much of because this is this root beer flow. It's a root beer float all right. I mean, smelling it fresh out the bottle is like... Wow, right in your face. Ooh. You can definitely smell the vanilla in it. Mm. Smell the root beer. And it's not oh, like yeah. an alcoholic root beer, like an like a it doesn't have an alcohol taste to it. So it's it's pretty nice. All their juices, 75, 25, super cloudy. Tons and tons and tons of flavor. Ooh. Sometimes a little much flavor for me. 
I like I'm a flavor taste, don't get me wrong. I need a good taste in juice, but some flavors just overpower me. It's it's not a bad overpowerment on this one, but it definitely uh That one's spot on. Oh, it really that's is. It's spot on. That's this is fucking good. <clears throat> it, you almost think it's gonna taste like a root beer barrel, and then it kind of morphs into a vanilla. Like you get the vanilla aftertone, it's really, really good. It's like a uh, AW root beer float. Yeah. It, Not a canned one, like a real one. Yeah, no, that's fucking spot on. With a whipped cream on top. And even, like, you know how after you drink, like, a root beer, you get that, like, weird feeling in the roof of your mouth? Yeah, well, kind of like a numb feeling almost from the vanilla. I almost get, like, the, the like, you can feel the fizz, like, in your nose. A little bit. That's fucking good. Well done. Definitely get a little fucking nick right now, but... Very well done. I'm bring the rest of this off. Uh... Yeah, we're pretty dry. And then finally, uh, the 18th Amendment. This is actually a fresh fruit and cream. Now this one I'll say, it tastes, it's, it's fruity, definitely fruity. I'll say that it was my least favorite out of the line, just because the other two flavors are like, they're not your everyday flavors, and they're really, really well done. But I don't want to discredit this juice at all because it's really, really good as well. But out of the three, like, if I had to choose a lineup, it's literally Syntax, the peanut butter custard, the root beer flow, or the fucking speakeasy, and then the fruits and the creams. A great smell to it. Yeah, it's getting nice and wet. Mm. Yeah, you can definitely you smell a lot of the mixed fruits. You smell a lot of the cream, too. Taste, I taste the peach predominantly. Very peach heavy. Yeah, like a, it's not like a melon. It's Yeah, it's definitely a peach. So I almost thought it was honeydew for a minute there. but No, it's definitely <coughs> peach heavy. Every single one of these juices, though, I could vape all day, hands down. I think if I had my choice, though, I'd be having a gallon of Syntax doesn't, already. Doesn't seem to cloud as well as the other ones, though. I think it's really the concentrate, because the other ones are kind of heavier concentrates. Mm -hmm. You know, not that I mix juice. I mean, you mix juice. It's still so clouds, don't get but... me wrong. It's, they're just a little wispier than the other ones. I've just noticed that with, like, every fruit vape I've had, like, actual fruit vape, it's the clouds are a little lighter than, like, a peanut butter vape. Which I believe is due to the consistency of the uh, the concentrate. But I don't know who the fuck. I, don't know. I just managed to shop. I don't know shit about mixing <laughs> juice. It's definitely peach heavy, but it it's doesn't take. Shit. It doesn't really. You get subtle notes of the others, but it's definitely peach heavy. But it doesn't take away from it. No, it's, it it's, really it's doesn't. It's a solid. It's a solid day. It melts really, really, really well. And the cr the cream's not overpowering either. It's a very smooth. No, but it's almost like you got like a fresh bowl of like fruit. You know. I don't taste any strawberry in it, but you got like some melon, like some uh, honeydew melon, some peach, strawberry. maybe a little pineapple, maybe a little pineapple, and like some fresh, fresh homemade whipped cream. You know, the good kind, the heavy looking, that fucking spray can bullshit. A little, a little bit of strawberry, but not much. It's very, very thin. It's not bad. I think, I think it blends very well together. I mean, this is definitely one of the lines of the I mean, they were drawing out a point. The owners are amazing people. Good friends are. But honestly, if I just went to a shop and picked these three, I mean, I kind of would. I definitely had them in my daily rotation. I wish I had more of that syntax. I think about it as phenomenal. What's your favorite in the line? Syntax, phenomenal. Syntax. I, I, like, I, I like can't get enough easy. You know, the speakeasy, it's good, but it's just, it's a little, the flavor's a little overpowering for me, but it's... I like that, though. It's a good overpowering. Yeah. I like that. Um, I, I've been looking for a, a good root beer <coughs> vape, aside from the one we have. It's, 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 it's spot on. <laughs> Fucking phone's going on. <laughs> on every review I do, the phone goes off. But... All right, thanks, guys. We got some customers in here, so...